Governor-elect Sarah Huckabee Sanders is set to be sworn in this week, but the biggest news this evening for Arkansas politics, the general session starting in Little Rock. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Laura Monteverdi. Hello, good evening, everybody. I'm Bob Clausen. State representatives and senators say education, tax policy, and public safety will be key themes this session. There is a lot to get to. Andrew Epperson joining us live in Little Rock. Andrew, you know, there's always a lot going on the first, second, <laughs> third day. Anything get done on the first day? Committee assignments, and that was basically it, Bob. It was really cool, calm, and collected Monday. That's despite on the House side some fearing that it might turn out to not might not turn out to be that way. And with that, the 94th General Assembly is underway. I declare the House representatives of the 94th General Assembly to be officially convened. More than a quarter of the House and Senate will be new faces, including Republican State Representative Ryan Rose. We joke, but it's like drinking from a, a, a fire hose while you're treading water and somebody hands you a baby. You know, um, just trying to keep up. Lawmakers spent Monday chatting with colleagues or meeting new members. A much calmer sight than some expected. After nearly half the House signed a letter asking Speaker Matthew Shepard to only appoint Republicans to chair and vice chair committee positions, freezing out Democrats. Of course, there's going to be more Republicans in these positions than Democrats. That's to be expected. Monday, a relief for Democrats on the House side, including State Representative Andrew Collins. Anybody that knows me can see. Shepard ultimately going against the letter's suggestion. I tried to make decisions that I believe are in the best interest of the House and the people of Arkansas. The Speaker's decision to do what he did set a more positive tone than what it otherwise could have been. Shepard says his decision shouldn't come as much of a surprise. I think that the membership understands uh, and they know, I think, what to expect from me. The desk will remain open as needed for the reading of the bills. And Rose is one of the 47 reps who signed the letter. He says he's ultimately happy about how the committee shaped up regardless. I'm just excited to get in there and work with these people and, and serve our great state. Although it was calm Monday, work's expected to ramp up in the coming days. Like you said, Bob, dozens of bills have already been filed. Of course, we'll be your source for the latest in Arkansas's legislature. Live in Little Rock, Andrew Epperson, back to you.